everyone! Welcome back. I'm Katie and today is my weekly Christian book review and we're going to be talking about a match in the making. So thank you to Baker Publishing for sending me a copy of A Match in the Making by Jen Toronto. This is her newest release that just came out I think about a week ago I think but I have been really wanting to try Jen Toronto because I have seen a few of my friends and on Facebook groups and I'm just like her books are going to be something that I really like and let me tell you I really like this one. So this is all about Gwendolyn and Gwendolyn is a high society lady but she ends up finding herself in a situation where she's done being like a paid companion to her cousin and she ends up being like a companion to an older woman because she ended up breaking her leg and so she thinks that's all she's gonna do she's gonna like kind of just keep her company but then she tells Gwendolyn that guess what I'm a I'm a matchmaker and since I broke my leg you're gonna be my assistant matchmaker and she's like uh-uh no there's no way that I'm gonna do that but since she did get paid for the job during the summer and she does, you know, she has responsibilities. She takes her responsible responsibilities very seriously. She ends up deciding, okay, it's just the summer. We can get through this. So she becomes an assistant matchmaker and just, it was sweet and funny. And, you know, she ends up starting to work with like, there's two women. I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm just going to give you small little snippets because I don't want to spoil anything. But Mrs. Parker, what she does is she has two ladies this season in society that she's supposed to match make for because she absolutely loves jewels. And so, yeah, she pretty much has two ladies. But then a gentleman who, yeah, you don't normally have a matchmaker for a gentleman, but a gentleman who is looking for a wife specifically to be a mother to his children ends up hiring Mrs. Parker because Gwendolyn doesn't want to match make for him. So he's like, okay, I'm just going to go to Mrs. Parker because I know she loves Jules. So they end up getting involved that way. And Gwendolyn has to figure out like, okay, like I have to figure out what he likes in a girl. So hopefully I can match him up with the right woman. I'm just going to leave it at that. But just know the ending got me really good. It's very cute. I loved it. There's certainly funny, humorous moments. There's definitely, there's even like a little bit of intrigue at the end of the book. I'm just going to say that. But there's also like a backstabbing woman. Like, I don't know. There's just something about those types of stories that like I absolutely love. Like in society where there's backstabbing women who will pretty much do anything to make themselves look good. But instead, they just end up tri tripping themselves in the situation and Gwendolyn calls them out and I just loved it. It was fun. It was entertaining. Quite possibly it might be in my top 10 of the year. I just found it so enjoyable and it's also the first book in a series. Second one is coming out I believe in fall. Don't quote me. But it's either fall or winter but I cannot wait till the second book. I can't wait to get my hands on it and read it. So make sure to check this one out. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video.